Fight by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Hi, welcome, welcome to Living Books. We are the Berenstain Bears. I'm Sister Bear. And I'm Brother Bear. This is a story about how we got into a big fight. Huh. It's also about how we made up. If you want to have the story read to you, click right here. Or if you want to play inside the story, click over here. Come on, let's dance! <laughs> when two small bears don't get along, the grown-ups worry, <coughs> what went wrong? <coughs> Most mornings, the sun rose to greet the day, and the mockingbird sang outside an upstairs window. Inside the treehouse, Brother Bear and Sister Bear would wake up. Good morning, Brother Bear! Good morning, Sister! Good morning, Sister! La 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 la! la. <gasps> Hi! How was work, dear? This night shift is for the birds. Huh? Coming! Huh? Nobody here. <laughs> Good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning. We are singing to you, do, 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 little bears. What a wonderful morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. Oh, you arrived just in time. I plan on taking a trip around the world to save more endangered animals. But I still have a lot more to do before I leave. I need help. See you later, Fred. Yeah, see you tonight, Sam. See ya. Huh? Oh, thanks.
Got to get busy. Got to find my honey. My honey in there? Where could my honey be? Hey, all your radio listeners out there! You're tuned to K-Bear Radio, and it's a beautiful morning here in bear country! Hey, I was still sleeping. Cubs, get up. Your breakfast is ready. I've made your favorite. My famous honey nut pancakes. Mmm! Brother and sister usually got along very well. They took turns nicely with the bathroom. May I use the bathroom now? I'm finished. You can come in. Thanks. Welcome to Early Morning with your host, Busy Buzzy B. Now, without further ado, here's Buzzy! Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. <laughs> Seriously, has anyone seen my honey? Come in? Sure! I need to retie my ribbon. There! Thanks! You're welcome. Brother Bear! You can come in. Breakfast is almost ready. Okay, I'll be there soon. Just in time for breakfast. Great! Hey! I don't have to get up yet. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Brush, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth after every meal. That's what I'm saying. Brush your teeth.
to breakfast. They said please and thank you at breakfast. and sat together on the school bus. After school, they worked together happily on their backyard treehouse. And they shared all of their toys. I know what I'll make for my school project. What? Dinosaurs! A brontosaurus. <laughs> That's great. Look, Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Look, a pterodactyl. <laughs> there was a little beehive way up in a tree. And in that busy beehive, there was a busy bee. He looked in all the flowers, he looked both near and far. He finally found his honey, right in his honey jar. Where could my honey be? Not in here. It's not in here. I just can't seem to find that honey. Goodbye, Earthling! Huh? Three, two, one, we have the dog. Wow! <laughs> hey, let's play that song. I like to play with you. I like to share with you. There's so much more we can do together. Thank you. 
One gray morning, brother and sister didn't get along well at all. Maybe it was the weather, or maybe it was because the mockingbird slept late. But whatever it was, they got into a big fight. Get your dopey feet out of my face. My feet aren't dopey, and they're not in your face. Get your dopey face out of my face. You shut up. It was because the mockingbird slept late. Just five more minutes. Just five more minutes. Whatever. Boy, it's really getting chilly around here. Don't worry, Teddy. I won't let him yell at you. He's just being a big, grouchy grump. Forget it. Cubs, are you up yet? Yes, yes Mama. Mama. Hey, let go. No, you <clears throat> let go. You better let go. Make me. Got to find that honey of mine. It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, ouch! <laughs> That was my best plane! Who got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? Yo, London lady, hee hee hee! Yo, London lady, hee hee hee! What a mess! It's your turn to clean it up. Uh-uh! It's your turn! I'm not going to do it. You clean it up! What a mess! It's your turn to clean it up. Uh-uh! Hey! Leave my doll alone! Well, you shouldn't have left it lying around. You are a blockhead. No, you're a blockhead. No, you are a blockhead. Well, while you sit there being a big grump, I'm going to get into the bathroom before you. You better not. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Sister Bear took a very long time brushing her teeth, 
washing up and brushing her fur. You better come out of that bathroom, shouted Brother, banging on the door. Brother Bear, said Papa, you know better than to shout at your sister. But she's taking too long, and she's doing it on purpose, complained Brother. What possible excuse do you have for yelling at your sister like that? Well, she put her feet in my face, and then she called me a grump, and then she ran into the bathroom and locked the door, and now she's taking her time, and... None of which is any excuse for pounding on doors and making such a racket. You better come out of there right now! I'll give you to the count of three, and then you better open this door! One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, three! Brother Bear! <clears throat> I'm really getting fed up with waiting out here. You are really making me mad. I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> <Grr>! <laughs> Boy, she's been in there for quite a long time. Is that cub going to be in there all day? Don't be so impatient. You better come out of that bathroom. <laughs> it's stormy, so stormy, when two little bears don't get Papa? Good morning, sweetie. Oh! Brother and sister didn't say please and thank you that morning at breakfast because they weren't speaking to each other. and they didn't sit together on the school bus. You can't use my treehouse. It's my treehouse too. They made a line down the middle of their backyard treehouse. It wasn't much fun sitting up there not speaking, especially when it began to rain. Hard. and get me some more nuts?
Well, I'm not going to stand for this much longer. What has gotten into those cubs today? Papa, will you tell you know who that he's not allowed on my side of the room? I wouldn't go on her side of the room if you paid me. to find that honey. Hey, get away from that honey jar! It's raining, it's pouring, will this storm ever rain? Oh, I'm wondering, will it ever be sunny They kept on being mean by taking back the things they usually shared. They got so angry that they forgot they weren't speaking and began shouting at each other. Those are my toys. You can't play with them. Well, I want my clay back. Your dinosaurs look stupid anyway. Hey, that was my school project. I've been working on that for a week. Well, it's my clay and you can't use it. What is all the racket in here? I'm tired of you two yelling all the time. All right, all right now, you two. Stop yelling! Well, I'm not going to sit around here and listen to this. I have my honey to find. You shut up. No, you now shut up. Now you two, don't get me started. <gasps> oh. Hmm. At the end of round two, we saw Brother Bear really put those toys of his right out of sight. Sister came back strong with a quick one-two combo to the clay dinosaurs. Wow, this is really a big one, folks! Close. Open. Close. Open! Close! Open! Make up your mind! Did not! Did two! Did not! Did two! Stop yelling! I did not! You did two! Phew! Huh! Mm -hmm. That's the last time you'll ever play with my toys again! So don't even ask. <gasps> oh. oh yeah? We'll see if I ever let you touch anything of mine ever again. Yeah. Grr, I'm gonna get you. You come stop that now. You'll never get to play with this again. Am I expected to sit here and watch this? Oh. <sighs> 
Oh. The neighbors didn't know which was worse, the big storm or the racket coming from the bear's house. Did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Stop yelling. I did not. You did two. <laughs> I'm not gonna play. She started it by sticking her dopey feet in my face. Well, I want my clay back. Could you please keep it down? Pardon anyway. me? You were the well, one. Can you please at me keep it down? Was... She started it. What did by you say? Her dopey feet in I my face. Stop all Could this you yelling. please be quiet? Well, you don't have to shout. You can't use my treehouse. It's my. <laughs> you just shut up. No, you shut up. No, I told you to this shut up. This is too much first. yelling. So you Stop got to all shut this up yelling. <laughs> uh -huh, can't Stop. catch me. Give them to me. Stop. Make me. I'm gonna get you for this. Stop. I touched your teddy bear. He's mine. Don't you touch him. Touched him again. Ha ha ha. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not going to play with... You shut... I'm not going to play with you. Which one do you think is louder? The fight or the storm? All right, Face now you two. Mouth. Stop Work. yelling. I can't tell. You throw like a It's too noisy out here for me. It's still too noisy. You throw like a girl. I am a girl, and I can throw farther than you. I can still hear it. All of this fighting is making me jumpy. It's driving me nuts. You shut up. No, you... Where is my honey? Hey. Let me hold it here. Open up. Ow! He stung my little tongue. You throw like a girl. I am a girl. You're a shrimp. You're ugly. All Don't right, face now you two. Face Stop work, yelling. Please. Phew. You sh Wow, this is the worst storm ever. Yeah. I'm glad we're outside. You can't use my... Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you, Do you are. Hear me? Oh, no, I'm Stop. not. Oh, yes, you are. You sh... Well, I hope this all blows over soon. You mean the fight or the storm? I mean both. You shut up. No. This rain is cold and I'm getting soaked. You can come in and dry off if you want to. Wow, the stinks! Hey, you guys! Get out! All of you! I'm not gonna play with you in a thousand... I can still hear it. I'm never gonna say anything you really you ever again. What are you two One fighting word, about now? I didn't know you could whistle like that, Mama. Well, I can whistle like that. 
And I can also tell you that I've had quite enough of this foolish fighting. Mama took the cubs into her lap. Why, I doubt you two even remember what you're fighting about. The cubs tried to remember, but they couldn't. Everybody gets into an argument once in a while, said Mama. Even folks who love each other very much. You and I don't have arguments, dear. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We're having one right now, about whether or not we have arguments. Granny, come over here and take a look at this. The cubs are getting along again. They stopped fighting. I've got to see this. Oh, how nice. Got to get busy. Got to find my honey. Who? I say who? I say who in this fair country needs to fight? Life is too exciting to waste it with this fighting. Tell me, tell me who needs to fight? Fighting never solves anything. I could have told you that. Hey, you guys! The fighting has stopped. <laughs> hey! Get off! Sometimes folks get grumpy, but you shouldn't let their bad moods upset you. You mean, you want me to apologize? Even when it's not my fault? Yes, sometimes. Your dinosaurs are stupid anyway. I'm sorry I wrecked your dinosaurs. I'll help you make some new ones if you want. Well, okay. You'll never get to play with this again. I'm sorry I took my toys away from you. You can play with them any time you want. We get angry, even call each other names and say things we really don't mean. And after a while, it's over. Like a storm? Yes, just like a storm. Look! The rain had almost stopped. The sun was beginning to shine through the clouds and had made a rainbow. Look at all the colors! Red! Blue! Yellow! Orange! Purple! Green! I'm looking for a pot of gold. Yahoo! Ground floor, Ooh. going up. Top floor, everybody out. Got to find my honey.
You know, when the sky clears, the world seems a brighter place. A rainbow is something very beautiful that happens after a storm. You mean like making up after a big fight? Sort of. Do you think that if we stopped fighting, we'd see more rainbows? Yeah, maybe. Wow! What a great rainbow! A rainbow is something very beautiful that happens after a storm. You mean like making up after a big fight? Sort of. <coughs> Come on, let's go play together. Okay. So brother and sister bear hugged and made up and got along just beautifully. Until the next time, anyway. Well, you stopped fighting, huh? I wonder how long this will last. Ha! Hey, you missed a spot. Ha ha ha! Yow! <laughs> Here, I've made you some cookies. Honey nut, nut cookies, cookies are favorite. Mmm, <laughs> thanks, dear. Got to find my honey. Where is my honey? There's my honey. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Hey brother, hey sister, it's great to be playing again. We've been through stormy weather, but we're back together. There's nothing like being your friend. Screwdriver. Mustard. Mustard? What are you building in there? A sandwich. Want some? Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Howdy. Well, hello there. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. It's great to be playing again. Stormy weather, but we're back together. There's nothing like being your friend. Well, we don't need this stupid line anymore. Yeah, you can say that again. We don't need this stupid line anymore. <laughs> I'm glad we're friends again. Me too. Hey, I've been looking for that. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Hey, 
I've been looking for that. Hey, watch it. You're getting it all messed up. No, I'm not. Watch what you're doing. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was really fun. Hope to see you again soon. <laughs> If you want to have the story read to you, click right here. If you want to play inside a certain page, click on the arrow to select the page you want, and then click OK. If you want to play inside a certain page, if you want to have the story read to you, well, are you sure you want to quit? Okay. If you want to have the story, well, are you sure you want to quit? Well, if you say so, bye. Now, when I draw Papa Bear, I'm not sure this is the way you're supposed to do it, but I start with this big funny hat here. And I don't know why he has that funny hat, and I don't know how it fits on his head, but that's his hat, and he's stuck with it. And we like it. Now I'm drawing his forelock, and he has a great big muzzle, a big smile. That's his chin. Now he's going to be looking back at us, and that's how you do that. He has eyebrows, maybe a little... Oh, I forgot to notice them. Dark nose. People say, is Papa Bear based on you? And I say, well, I'm not quite as dumb as Papa Bear often is, but yes, to a great extent, he is based on me. And is Mama Bear based on Jan? And the answer is, well, Jan isn't quite as perfect as Mama Bear, but she's pretty close to it. Stan and Jan Berenstain work together in their home in Pennsylvania. There they create the Berenstain Bears. They both spend a lot of hours drawing pictures for their books. How can you or I get to draw like they do? Just ask Jan. Well, how you get to draw like this is practice. You do it a lot of times, like 
learning to ride a bike. You keep going and going and until you get it right. Jan started drawing when she was a little girl. She wanted to be an artist like her dad. When Stan wasn't riding his tricycle, he was busy at home drawing pictures on paper bags and cardboard. What do Stan and Jan do now when they aren't drawing pictures and writing books? I like to watch some TV, but I like to listen to music. I like to go out and take a walk. I like to ride around. I like to talk to Jan and tell jokes and hear jokes. Like I like to do all the same things that most people like to do. Stanley. Well, it takes the two of us about three weeks to write a book. First, Jan and Stan decide what the book is about. They often ask their two sons and grandchildren for ideas. Once they choose an idea they really like, they write down the story, then make rough drawings called sketches of all the pictures they will need for the book. And there's a bear in every one. Stan and Jen always help each other out with their drawings. Well, she, she's driving a sports car. Let's give her uh, tinted glasses. Yeah, like aviator glasses. You know, that'd be funny. That'd be good. It's logical. Very sporty. Yeah. Then they take a break from Good work way. to read the heaps <laughs> of mail from us kids. Dear Stan and Jan, I like your book, Trouble with Grown-Ups. The reason why I like it is because I like the part where the brother bear tries to see how many peas he can get on his fork. <laughs> <laughs> your friend Joshua. Yes, that's right. They like to watch the sheep that live near the house, or go on walks, or just swing on the porch. What was your favorite toy when you were little? Yeah. yeah. I had a doll with a china head. Yeah. That got broken. Every year and every Christmas, I got it back with a new head. That's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> then it's back to work. Before finishing a book, Stan and Jan paint their final pictures. These paintings are what you and I see in our Berenstain Bear books. Here's a quick look at how the bears start out as sketches and end up on the pages of a book. When night falls, Stan and Jan leave their work studio and take a nap. I really prefer it with a light on. It's not that I'm scared. I just like it better that way, that's all. And then they begin again the next day. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> oh, 